To another commentary done by Diggity, the upper left-hand corner, we have Royal Blue starting as the Blue Terran. Upper right-hand corner, we have Meon Sword, who is off racing as Pink Protoss, which, according to the tournament rules, was actually illegal. And it's said in the replays, so technically none of this counts. The Neon Sword gets disqualified or something. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out overall. I'm going to do the replay. Regardless, this is on Vermeer. Natural expansion there. The eggs blockading the way. And then kind of that third that's a little bit easier to defend. Uh, between the two, I think I... I don't know. I, I feel like Royal Blue... With a few adjustments in play, I feel like Royal Blue could have actually exited his bracket over Tim. Neon Sword played pretty well on his edge. So, feels like it might be a pretty even match. Anyone could win. I think I'm going to slightly favor Royal Blue overall. I think what it's... What might be the... Uh, although I'm, it might be in... Doesn't matter match because of the race swap for Neon Sword. But regardless... Gonna cast it anyway. Looks like we're seeing initially a front door seal. Supply depot along the way. <clears throat> and a gateway as well. I'll tell you what, I'm feeling a little bit winded with this commentary. Mostly, I had the, uh, had the vaccine last weekend, or last week for the flu, and that kind of lingered with me for a long period of time. Looks like Neon Sword's gonna get first scout, by the way. And actually, nope, it's gonna be... I think th ugh, this is where my brain is trying to like remember. Okay, can a probe fit through that direction? I do not believe they can. And I wish I could remember the mnemonic between the two, whether it's... But yeah, no, I think that probe is going to be locked out unless that's a gap right there. Looks like it is full blockade, but the probe can still go ahead and harass that SCV. What's up, Chippa, by the way, out in Twitch land? This SCV going to be pulled out to go ahead and do some scouting information. The probe harassing... This is kind of an interesting situation for Royal Blue, where he really can't defend that SCV from the probe harassment, unless he brings out another SCV to repair it, which looks like he's not opting to. We're dropping refinery behind this. <clears throat> we'll see if he goes for two factory play. Cybernetic score in the base from Neon Sword. And once he scouts bottom left, let's see if he goes Caddy Corner for cross uh, map scout as well. But So, Barracks finishes. Marines being produced. And that probe just going to be annoying as it can on the front lines on this side of the wall. But yeah, anyway, so went, got that vaccine. It's been lingering forever. Then I got another vaccine, got the the bivariant, the booster for COVID. I feel like that's now hit me hard. Oh, this is one downside of the barracks is the Marines spawn on the south of the barracks, which means the barracks will need to be lifted off to get the Marines back in. That's another aspect. And it looks like there wasn't a cross scout for Royal Blue. What's up, Optimator? There wasn't a cross scout for Royal Blue. Instead, Royal Blue gonna come across this base, and actually the Dragoon might be out to go ahead and wipe it out. In the meantime, Neon Sword going for some proxy tech here, dropping a pylon near Royal Blue's base. Royal does have Marines nearby. Let's see if when this SCV want, and actually Neon gonna have a really good shot of pulling this out because this Dragoon already, yeah, just can hold the ramp, which means information denied. We'll see what kind of tech we're looking at here. That probe is somewhat low in health. It looks like Citadel of a Dune, so DTs, invisible men, in the camp. I'm talking to Twitch chat back here. I need to. I'm wondering if for these, I should if I should get the Twitch chat overlay. Probe, looking for a way up, being sent back, and now natural expansion being grabbed as well as a bunker. Does Royal respect the potential DT play? and get an engineering bay. Factory being built. Citadel of Adun. Or is it going to be a second gateway? I'm expecting a second gateway, or is it just going to be DT with expand? SCV making its way back is not checking that northern corridor. So Citadel of Adun is up. Neon Sword looks like... So just faking out with that probe in case an SCV made its way back. Dragoon needing a lot of damage on the front there. Marines finally getting in that bunker. Temple Archives warping and it. it looks like there is going to be a second gateway behind us. So yeah, invisible men all the way. And this is without a full front door seal for Royal. Natural expansion up. He went for a second factory behind this. I don't see any... I don't see an academy. I do not see an engineering bay. If he does plop down any form of detection, he'll actually be in a pretty good situation. But I... Or maybe if he goes mines first. SCV's pulling off the line to go ahead and repair it. 
three gateways worth of Dark Templar going to be fielded. First Templar, Dark Templar in production, and it looks like this might be an auto win on build order. Machine Shop finishes. Are we seeing mines first? No, second Machine Shop. And a Siege Tank. No anti DT tech here in the form of any form of detection. Pylon wall with a Dragoon in the way, just in case. Two Dark Templar out of the front. There's going to be a third Dark Templar on the forward position, and right now Royal Blue is just going to be completely outmanned. There's the Engineering Bay, but honestly, yeah, this feels really, really late. So unless this gets absolutely flubbed, there should be Dark Templar with the rush distances inside the base to take care of turrets before they're even building. Dragoon continuing to harass against this, and I think B Royal hopefully senses something because of the lack of additional Dragoons. Another SCV making its way out. Siege tank pressuring. There's that Shimmer making its way across. Engineering Bay just finishes as this Dark Templar working on that siege tank on the front. Getting distracted, pulling back. First turret trying to be built on the front. This DT going to make its way up into the main. A turret being built along that southern corridor. But yeah, the DTs here in numbers. <clears throat> Although, nope. Well, maybe. This missile turret looks like it might get finished. The Dark Templar are just going to town otherwise. SCV is just getting wrecked at the natural expansion. There's more DT to come. So Vulture actually spawns, but gets pinned in. There is some detection here to north. Mine's being upgraded. So that might, with Royal Blue with some clever mine placement, maybe you can get out of this. But there are so many Dark Templar already out here. The Vulture gone. Royal Blue just going to GG right there. <clears throat> So Neon Sword, I don't know if this ends up with the DQ or not because of the race swap. But in fact, I'll even show you guys, uh, I'll do the rare thing of showing you guys the replay name. <laughs> As part of the recorded video. But this is like the official name, Neon Sword versus Neon Sword off SSP, which is against the rules. I did not know until putting this together. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if that was a DQ or what happened or not. But that's in the books. Hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed it kind of a straightforward DT rush game. Thanks for listening.